name is Brian Maurer. I'm the writer director of this thing. I don't know how I can paraphrase my experience shooting this, other than it's a very long story that I'm happy to tell. But um, it was a very, very good experience, a very interesting experience. Learned a lot about myself and my filmmaking and storytelling and working with people. So it was a wonderful experience.
couldn't really achieve that in other cities. And I am really happy that we chose the city that we did to do this at a house and a location. I think it played out very well. Wow. Thank you. Uh, now, a question for Asher's. Cool. Uh, what, what, was, what was it like getting into that role? I mean, you know, where, where did you pull from as far as, you know, uh, your acting? You know, was it a method? Was it a whole no. Design, you know? Um, <laughs> no, maybe, I mean, maybe. I think it's, I, I mean, there are a lot of actors in the audience right now, and they might agree with me in the sense that uh, every character you develop has to have part of you in it, yeah. right? We can only portray the experience that we have a little understanding of. So even though the situations that I would pull from in my life were different, uh, the emotional influence was there, but I, I mean, obviously, I, I have never experienced like memory loss like that, or even that that amount of loneliness that she went through, and like yearning and longing, and like just this, this melancholic nature that she has since she lost her mom. But I think everybody has experiences in their life when they do feel a little lonely, and it's literally my job as an actress to grow on that, like to grow with that and, and make it more dramatic, which Hey, this is, this, dramatic. Is, this is a comp, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what was the most challenging thing for you as, you know, portraying this, this character? Probably just the, the amount of crying um, and this, I mean, when you're it's really interesting because the majority of the shots are either like really far away and there's emptiness, or they're like right here. Like that's just, like my that's like right here. <laughs> and um, so to be continually feeling lonely, you feel lonely when you're making those shots. There's nobody around you, and you're driving down the street by yourself. Um, the drama. I mean, obviously everybody who makes films knows that. You know, just like, okay, I only have to cry once today. Like, I, like I cried for 12 hours a day for like four days in a row, um, which is taxing. And become starts to become something that you can use in those scenes. Like, sometimes I'm just really crying because you're exhausted <laughs> and you're tired and you're feeling, Do you know, it right? Yeah. Do it again. Yeah, right. So, yeah. But, I mean, she, Rosemary, is a character that I think a lot of people can relate with. Um, given, again, I think everybody feels lonely, everybody feels uh, a dissection from society sometimes. And that's, I think, that, I think that's really relatable. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now, just, this is a question just for each, each one of you. Um, have you guys gotten any testimonies personally, people reaching out to you, uh, quote, unquote, fan mail, uh, you know, someone just really touched by the story that you really were able to relate to, connect with, write back to even. Um, I mean, my mom's super into it. She's seen it twice now. This is her second time seeing it. She's, she's like, she's in it to win it. She's dedicated. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have, I have, I have used to like, like, directly reach out to you, but uh, after the screenings, occasionally uh, people come up to me and, and it really does. It was a really an interesting aspect of what I wanted from this film was that um, everybody comes into it with a different background. Yeah. Everybody sees every one of these characters differently than I did, differently than the person sitting next to me did. Um, some people really don't like Eric. Uh, some people understand what situation <laughs> he's in. Some, some people really understand what's happened to this family and, and the, the pain it and, and so, sheer level of apology internally that's needed to, to get to that last moment here. And so I have had some people come out and tell me that they 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 haven't spoken directly that it has touched them in any particular way other than that they say they really understand this and that they, they were able to relate to it. And I don't really follow up with that because that's a very personal thing and, and I want to remain that way. It's really important that everybody here and myself all have a very unique understanding of what this story was and how it affected you. Um, so that would that be the feedback that I did on a regular basis. That I understand, I, I felt something for this character, I really understand, and it, it hit me. You know. 
Ideally, people are crying all the time, too. <laughs> Just in the spirit of fairness, my dad also went around and asked everybody for their autograph today. So, <laughs> that's he's, also he's fan. He's a fan. Fan. <laughs> or growing base. Uh, so, you know, Same uh, to what, go. Yeah, what, what was your, did anyone come up to you uh, saying that they were touched you know, by the film? Uh, was it, you know, anything personal uh, that just really hit home for you? I guess as a direct photography, not really. No. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No, I mean, people have said that they love it and think it's beautiful. Um, they love the angles. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. They have. I'll I'll be I a fan. They, I think I think you I think <laughs> Sam. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sam was really adamant about not only giving the film a, a, a particular look, a feel, which I'm sure you were able to gather right in the past has this really sort of burnt look to it, um, but also that a lot of what Rosemary experiences is built upon that image system that Sam put together of, of either right up close in your face or really far away when we wanted to show. It didn't really matter. He found the right way to make her feel isolated and the right way to make Benjamin feel trapped. So, uh, Sam, I will be your kind of boy. Awesome. Yeah. She, she's like a point five. So one point five. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 